All right, here we go. We are going to try and fly a creek. You can see it right through there. We're gonna cruise right through there in cinematic mode. And we're gonna see what it looks like. This could be great. All right, we'll see you in the air. Here we go. All right, Minnie, here we go. Flippy around. Let's go fly a creek. There she goes. All right, let's look down here on this thing. Keep it from running into anything, I hope. Ooh -wee. I can see it still. Be better though if I could see it through here. All right, so we're at Swan Creek in Athens, Alabama. I kind of know it. Ooh, that was too close. Got some leaves there on the left. But I don't know it that good. And so we're flying right about three miles an hour right now, nice and through it. Oh yeah, just kind of cruising. I'll dial up that the middle right there. I'm at about eight feet. I'm gonna drop it down a little bit underneath all that. We're about four feet high right now. We are approaching 500 feet away from me. And there's a, oh, I guess I gotta slide that over a little bit. So let's get away from that branch. I can see this is making me nervous. <laughs> Because you know, one little branch is a little bit blurry. I may not see it. So I'm gonna go that one up the wrong way. All right, here we go. Go back up. There's some wind blowing it around a little bit. All right, going back forward again. Yeah, here we go. Whoa, there's a branch. Let's go up a little bit higher on that. I think I can cruise right through there. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna cruise right through there, get away from that branch. Good stuff, okay. So, feeling good so far. Looking clear, looking good. Yeah, you can see the fall leaves coming down. This is good stuff. It's a pretty creek. The wind is blowing it around a little bit right now. I'm gonna lower that down just in case. There we go. We're about five feet above the ground, wobbling a little bit. It looks clear, but then you start getting a little bit closer and you realize there's a branch right there. So let's go kind of around that branch. and keep it in the middle. Oh yeah. So we're approaching now, we're approaching 900 feet away. It's six feet off the ground. Those branches seem close, but I really just don't know how close those branches are. All right, let me lower down a little bit. Hey, we're at 1,000 feet now. Weak signal, adjust antenna. There's just a lot between it. It's hard to see. Oh, I need to go down. It looks like a rope swing right there. So we're at five feet and some branches are hanging. Oh, I have no signal, so I need to bring it back to me. 
Let me walk that way a little bit. I have no transmission. I gotta get over there a little bit closer. All right, got the transmission back. It's hovering. Back up, back up a little bit. Come on, back up a little bit for me. There we are, I got it back. It's still hovering. Woohoo! All right, we're going to turn it around. And we're going to come back this way. Come on back, come on back. And we're going to cruise the other way. And my issue coming this way, I think, is going to be the sun. Let's see what happens. It's turning around real slow. Ooh wee. All right, now, good deal. So nine feet on the up, I'm gonna lower it down a little bit. Get closer to the water. Okay, now it's time to come back to me. Real slow though, two miles an hour. Can't see it real well. It must be having some really good breezes right there on it. So we're right at six feet. It's kind of bobbing up and down on its own. Now we're cruising back 900 feet or 970 feet. Oh, I'm feeling the breezes from right here. If I had hair, it'd be flopping in the wind. So we're going two miles an hour, nice and easy. And my screen keeps getting messed up by the sun, but that's okay. We're gonna figure this out. Yeah, look at that beautiful corridor. Keep it clear so I can keep it out of those branches. I'm gonna lower it down about five feet. Another branch, we're gonna go under. Yeah, that's cool. I like it. Come to me, baby. Come to me, come to me, yes. Whoa, we're, we're kind of getting a little bit of blown around there, so we're going to fly to that right bank. And easing right along. Yes, I like it. All right, it's, it's picking itself back up to eight feet all on its own. I don't like that. Let's go back down. Go back down. There we go. We are right about 600 feet away. So we made about halfway back. Whoa, I need to go backwards on that. Get away from that. Woo hoo hoo. We almost had an accident. So I'm going to cruise this way. And go right around it. Very nice and smooth. I like that cinematic smooth. Yes, it is. We're going really slow, like one mile an hour, four feet in the air. Getting blown around though. So let's kind of ease back into the middle of the creek. It popped up to five feet and then, all right, here we go. Yeah. It looks clear right there, back up at six feet. Why is it going to six feet? Let's go down. Five feet. I wonder if I'm creeping any fish out or any birds. I thought I might flush a bird or something. Okay, we're at 400 feet. I can actually see the bridge behind me now. Yeah, this should come on easy. Nice and easy. I can see myself. I don't hear it yet. We're at 330 feet away. Coming right at me. Very good. Oh, I see some, whoa, I see some branches coming in way. And there I am. I'm at a little bitty spot on the left of that middle square. I'm at five feet high. Going under all these branches. All right, I'm in the aircraft warning zone again. 
All right, it's going up to six feet. I'm going to lower it down back down to five feet. And let's go. All right. I think I'm starting to hear, but that road is really loud behind me. You probably hear it in the microphone. I'm sure you do. I hear it. That sounds good. Cool. We have plenty of battery. We have 60% of the battery left. We may fly under this bridge. Let's see. Let's get it up beside me and wave high at it. You can barely hear that thing. You can barely hear it. There I am. So we've got it three feet and up in the air. There you are. Look at it hovering over the ground, lower it down. See what happens when you start lowering it over the ground. It's done a good job over that water. All right, let's pick it back up. And get back on the screen here. All right, so now I'm gonna take my antennas this way. There's that bridge, the JT's fa the favorite bridge. I'm gonna put it about five feet high there, for six feet high. That looks good. The bridge looks like to be about 12 feet high. Let's cruise under it. I don't know if I'm gonna lose a signal or not. I wonder what'll happen. I know there's some electrical cords right there. Oh, looky there, that kind of got real pixelated. Very good, very good. Let's check out this side. I got a GPS signal is weak. That's because we went under that bridge. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, that's a cool creek to fly. So far it has been anyways. Let's cruise over there. I usually see a lot of people down here. Rock hopping, I call it cruising around on the creek so we got to I think about a thousand feet the other way I don't know if I'm gonna risk it that far with that bridge and all and I know there's some electrical cords down there and that may mess me up a little bit so we're gonna we're right now at 350 feet cruising right along it's a wide open area where my son and I, big boy JT and I, were playing this morning. Had a good time. So I'm at eight feet. Let me lower it down just a little bit. Yeah, down to six feet two. Same height as me. All right, keep it clear. I'm on a real clear picture, y'all. Because I remember there's a lot of overhanging stuff in here. It's going back up to seven feet. I think he's right about four feet. Oh yeah, that's good. Ooh, let's see what's going on right here. Ooh, we got crews right through there. So it looks like if it's in this middle square, that's where it's gonna be. So the blades aren't gonna hit anything if it's outside of that square right there in the middle. That's what it's feeling like anyways. All right, we're at 600 feet. Six fifty cruising right along. I still have contact with it. It's starting to get a little dark in there. Ooh, it just did a little pixelated thing. It's seven hundred feet. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn it around right here. We're going to bring her back. Let's bring back Minnie. Turn it around, Minnie. All right, there's the bridge. You can see the bridge. Four and a half feet high. Pretty clear, pretty clear. Whoa. So those leaves were really big on the right side, but we didn't get into them. So now we're gonna, it looks like I feel like I'm getting a little cocky here flying at this height. 
but I think my hypothesis that if it's not in the square, I'm not going to hit it, is coming true. And I like that. Let me show you this. Let's see if we can get over this little waterfall here. Let's see what it looks like. Get over the top of it. Let's lower down our... Yeah, wind's blowing it around. Look at that. Wind's blowing it around. Let me pick it back up and cruise on back. All right, got a little speed going on. Whoa, let's not go too fast now. I don't know, it might be better if I go fast under these, under the bridge, we're four miles an hour, or four feet high. I know it's pretty clear in here. There's one, there's one little branch. Let's get around that branch. We went around that branch. We're at six feet high, and that's going straight at me. Let's let's kick it up a little, a little bit of speed. See what happens. Eight miles an hour, coming right at me. Nine miles an hour, gonna it's gonna hit me right about here. There I am again. So it lost a little bit of pixelation right there, and then that was it. So that was cool. Cool experiment. Yes, I enjoyed that. Oh, it just kicked up to 10 feet all on its own. Why, why has it done that? Huh. That's kind of different. What? Oh, there you go. Let's go back down. Five feet. Whoa, it's trying to go three feet. We tried to land on me. That wind is kicking up in there. Let's bring it back to daddy. Bring it back to me. There's my bicycle. And... It's raising up all on its own again. <laughs> yeah. Come here, Timmy. Yes, I like that. Hope you did too, Mini. So, this is my Mavic Mini. We are going to be putting out videos in little risky situations. And I hope you'll join me through all these. It should be fun. And I hope I don't have to buy this Mavic twice. Some people say you do because it is the cheaper version, but it's fun. Should be a blast. And uh, subscribe, like, all that. We have another YouTube channel called Fast Food Fitness. We'll be using these back and forth. So welcome to my Mavic Mini and enjoy some fast food fitness if you would like. Let's get out of here. Here we go. All right. We finished it up. Good job. See y'all later.